All right, thanks so much, Eva. We are here inside the Rogers Center because there'll be about uh, 45,000 of the closest friends in this building for the first <laughs> time uh, for an opening day since March 28th of 2019. Over three years since we've had Ooh. a home opener. With You know, it's going to be a special night. It really is. is. Yeah. President and CEO Mark Shapiro is here. Uh, how are you feeling? Because I know you just mentioned me. It's going to be a little bit emotional for you being back here. It's been a tough couple years. You guys don't complain. You don't complain. The players don't complain. Uh, you're in hostile environments that were considered home games over the last Last couple seasons, but you're back here with it's with the fans. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be emotional. Mm -hmm. You know, it's gonna be hard not to reflect on the journey here. Uh, I think that's a big part of this team's identity that their character really showed through uh, throughout circumstances that no one could have imagined. We all dealt with a lot of challenges and a lot of adverse, adversity the past two years. But within the context of Major League Baseball, mm -hmm. the Toronto Blue Jays had a disproportionate amount yeah. of adversity and challenges. And our players never complain. They never whine. They just kind of said it is what it is, not what it should be, and let's go. So now tonight, we get to reconnect them, reunite them with our fans, you know, across the city and across the country. So it's going to be a special night. What have you heard from them as they got back here? I know they spent several hours on the field yesterday, maybe a little bit longer than they normally would have, uh, yeah. you know, the day before a game. Uh, what are they saying? What, how are they feeling? Well, it, it, one thing I, that I didn't really think about is how many of these guys that over that time period have established themselves as great major leaguers, stars like Bo Bichette and Vladdy that have not been through an opening day. Yeah. So I think that, you know, across, whether it's a veteran like George Springer or Matt Chapman that haven't experienced opening days or Hunjin Ryu, you know, as a Toronto Blue Jay, despite having been here for a few years, or whether it's our young players who have established themselves as stars in the game, they're looking forward to, to hearing what the hype's all about. You know, <laughs> right. they've heard what this building can sound yeah. like. They've heard what this city can do when it's, on, when it's buzzing. But they haven't really felt that. They've only seen half capacity, you know, so they're, they're looking forward to it, trust me. And you mentioned some of the names there. Look, they always say that summer bodies are made in the winter. And this winter season for you, uh, you did a lot. You went to work. What did you do to enhance the body of this team? Well, obviously, adding guys like Kevin Gosman and Matt Chapman are, are significant. But, uh, you know, I think there's a couple things. It's a natural maturation uh, and a hunger from our younger players to know they missed it by one game last year. There's a desire to finish that, as, as Vladdy has said, to, you know, get rid of the trailer and run the movie <laughs> yeah. uh, this season in front of our fans at home and really have a home. Um, and for, I think, our veteran players, they just want to win, you know, and they want to feel what it's like to win here. So uh, I think we've added a good mix of players, uh, and th these guys are, are clear, you know, that there's a journey ahead. It's 162, yeah. unlike any other sport. You know, it is truly a grind, and they're going to ready to attack that, whatever it holds, and there will be some ups and downs. Uh, but they have a clear goal in mind, and, uh, and they own that, which is great. Do you sense, because uh, when I watch them, I love the confidence, but I feel like they're just loose now because they're very yeah. comfortable in their skin. Do you sense that with this team that they're just like, hey, we're going to go out and we're going to have fun and yeah. we're going to see the results because of I, it? I do. I think that's a, that's a great perception because baseball, unlike any other sport, you can't have that rah-rah mentality every single day and you have to have joy. Uh, and there is a leadership component that's not just about working hard, being serious, and motivating. There's a leadership component component that is joy. You know that is fun. So whether you watch George Springer, that brings that every day. Like it, it can be if you're not happy to be here, and if you don't like the guys you're playing with. Yeah. So part of being a good teammate is having fun. And Vladdy and George, for me, those two guys really epitomize that and bring that every day. I feel like you have a lot of fun with that. Um... Look, we're talking about the city being a buzz right now. Leafs, Raptors looking great. Yeah. Uh, you guys coming back in. I love this time of year. When you get down, I know you've been doing some press, right? but when you're down on this field and you're looking around and you know what this is going to look like in you know, less than 10 hours or so, uh, what goes through your mind? It, you know, there's not a, it's a strange thing. It's my 31st opening day Oof. working in the game. Yeah. So, you know, I've earned the gray <laughs> and the beard. Yeah. But there's not a day I don't walk into this building and feel grateful that this is my career and this is my job. Um, there's not a day that I don't, don't wake up in Toronto and pull into Rogers Center and say there's no better place in MLB to work, that we're, we're so unique and so lucky and so fortunate. And I think what today I felt is I'm so proud of these guys. I'm so proud of this team. And I can't wait for them 
to feel what this city's like and for the city to feel them. So it's unique. It's not, you know, it's it, there. Are, I've been through 31. This is my 31st, mm -hmm. and, and they're all a little bit different. They're all a celebration of baseball, but this one is more special. And we cannot wait for everything to kick off tonight. Gates are opening at 530. Get down here early. A lot of great opening ceremonies, and we'll see an emotional Mark Shapiro here tonight. Oh, Grant, it's good yeah. to see you. Good we'll see send you it back well. to you guys in the studio. It's going to be a buzz here, and we're going to do so much more throughout the show, uh, of course, right here from Rogers Center. And talking all things Jays, guys. And look, this is this is pretty exclusive what I got right <laughs> now. Nice, Dave. So, look at you two right? hugging it out. I love it. You I'm go. sure Shapiro loves it, too. He's always dressed <laughs> yeah. like a million bucks.